Hey there! I am starting a new YouTube tutorial series here today and it's mostly catered towards my intermediate audience. So anyone who's been playing fiddle for a little while but wants to get more into the techniques of the tune or if you are a classical player and you're trying to get a fiddle sound, um, these tutorials are specifically for you, although I hope that anyone who watches them can get some benefit out of it uh, if you're looking to learn the fiddle. So that's basically what it's gonna be all about. They are going to be shorter videos because I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna break down the tune measure by measure I will play it full speed and then at a slower learning speed and in the middle I'll detail little things you should watch out for in the tune talk a bit about the backstory but it's not gonna be a breakdown of learning each measure each note because for one that would be a half-hour video and two that's really something you should cover with a private instructor so I do offer uh, Skype left private Skype lessons, and I will link my website below if you want to get in touch with me about setting those up. Um, and if you uh, don't want to do Skype and you have someone in the area who teaches fiddle, then definitely I would encourage you to look them up. I'd encourage you to attend live events like camps and workshops and anything that you can uh, just to supplement and learn in that way because I really think that it's the best way to learn new tunes is to get in front of somebody in person. But like I said, I do offer Skype lessons to go more in depth to what I'm covering here, but I want to give you all a little bit of an idea of what these tunes sound like and what you can do to learn them. that was the tune at full speed. Now I do want to give you a little bit of history behind the tune itself. So Willie Coleman was a fiddler from Calaval, which is in County Sligo. If you're not familiar, that's in the northwest coast of Ireland, uh, right underneath Donegal. And there's a story behind this tune that apparently it's on Willie Coleman's headstone and his friend Martin Wynn, who's another tune composer, um, was talking to Sonny McDonough and uh, leaned over and said, actually, I wrote that tune. So even though it's called Willie Coleman's Jig, it's likely that it was written for him by a friend, which is fairly common with Irish tunes these days. I know that I've written tunes for friends and uh, family members and whatnot, so it's definitely very popular. This tune is also very good for flute and tin whistle, and I see a lot of tutorials online um, for anyone who plays those instruments uh, going through and detailing this jig, but I think it sounds really nice on the fiddle too. Now, here's what I want you to keep in mind. This tune is very complex. I mean, you heard all of the notes and you probably are thinking, oh gosh, how am I gonna learn that? So my advice is always break it down into manageable chunks, just like any big project, just break it down into baby steps and work from there. So you could go measure by measure, you could work on the A part and then the B part, you could go by four bar phrases, whatever works for you, go ahead and break it down into manageable chunks. What I would recommend is to break this tune down by phrasing, so every four bars, because you really want to get that concept of flow in your music and you want to connect each part together. But if you're too, 
bogged down into the little details of hitting every note, then that's going to take away from the overall phrasing. So if you expand your mind to think about the tune um, as sections, then it's almost like telling a story. You know, you've got your beginning, you've got your middle, and you've got your end. So figure out a way to make that cohesive and tell a story through your music. Okay, so now the technical side. You're in the key of G for this tune, and there's some parts of it that are a bit more modal, which means you're adding in notes that are not normally in the key signature of G major. So there's not usually a C sharp, which is, for this tune, would be your um, a high two finger on your A string. Um, there's not usually that note in the key signature for G, but you can throw it in for effect in the second part. You, you'll hear it in the B part where I do a little ornamentation um, that's like... Now, you gotta keep in mind here that you got your C sharp here, and you're automatically going up to your G natural on your E string. So you've got to be very flexible with those fingers. You've got to move the, the two back to your natural position and be able to do that quickly between the C sharp and the G natural. So a nice exercise to do is to just practice that interval and practice switching it quickly. So it sounds terrible, but it sounds kind of better when you add the D in there. So you can practice either one of those just to get the interval under your fingers and that'll help a lot for the technical side. And I'm not going to get too much into uh, the techniques like rolls and cuts because I've had other videos in the past that I've explained those in. Uh, and if you have any further questions about them or maybe suggestions for where I would add them in, uh, go ahead and reach out to me in the comments or send me an email. I'd be happy to answer questions or even do a follow-up video where I do focus more on the technique of the different tunes that I'm playing. So I would be happy to do a video like that if you are interested. Uh, just let me know because this is all an experiment right now. This is me figuring out what works best for you. Thank you for watching this first video of my tune tutorial series. If you have a tune request that you'd like me to cover or any specific topic, um, or if you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comments or you can sign up for my email list on my website and send me a private message and I'd be happy to address any questions or comments you may have. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram and I appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day.